Hello and happy Fridays. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 62 with Fluke Fridays. What we're going to go over today is obviously out of the my normal element. I'm actually in my car today out uh, seeing some customers and didn't have as much time to get a video edited as normal. So this is what you're going to get this week. I was thinking about some tools and I thought about the Amprobe wire tracer. Um, and a conversation I had with a customer this week about these. I have another video on this already. You can look that up in my uh, playlist and different things. Um, but the AT6000 series is definitely my favorite. I prefer it over the AT8000 series, even though the AT8000 series costs more. I like the 6000 series more. I think it's more user friendly. But I was just going to talk about a specific application. I was t actually talking with some customers this week that deal with cranes uh, at a steel mill and keeping the cranes up and going and one of the things they have difficulty with is finding shorts they have shorts and then they got to find them and how do you do that what's the right tool for it and so I thought I would tell you a little bit about how you can use the AT6000 series uh, to find shorts and hopefully, whether it be you're working on cranes or something else and you need to find a short in your system, this might be the tool that you need uh, to get that done. So I've got the user manual here. I know nobody likes to read user manuals. That's why you're watching this video. But if you get an AT6000 series, look at this user manual. There's quick reference. You kind of see the different applications. I'm gonna show you the, the um, here in a second, like this. So we're going to go through this right here, finding shorts, okay? So hopefully that came through and wasn't mirrored weird um, because I'm facing the camera towards me. But basically what you're going to do is, I'll, I'll show this image again. We're going to hook up the transmitter, right? So we're going to hook up the transmitter to two wires that we think are... Um, short it out. Now before we do that, the first thing it says to do is we have to disconnect uh, the wires on both ends, make sure they're isolated and they're not connected to anything else. And then the next thing is you're going to choose one end of that and the two cables. You're going to take this transmitter, hook it up with the test leads, use the alligator clips, turn it on. Turn it on with this button down here and then hit this high button and you'll see it boink, boink, boink. Uh, it's transmitting, so that's what you want. So you're gonna do that and you're gonna hook that up to one end, just like this shows. And you're gonna take the, the transmitter, this guy, you're gonna turn it on and you can either use it in this mode or probably this mode would be the better mode. And you're gonna go along that tracing the wire until the signal stops. Then you're gonna switch the transmitter to the other side of the cables, the other end, and you're gonna hit the transmitter and you're gonna go down the line until the signal stops. And hopefully it will stop in the same place, both directions. And if it stops in the same place, both directions, you know you found your short. And uh, it's a quick and easy way to find it. And anyways, if you've tried this before, leave a comment below saying you've tried it. And if it worked, tell us that and if it didn't work tell us that but um that's the application i hope that's helpful for today i didn't have any questions this past week so we don't have any q a's don't forget to leave those questions below i love answering your questions and it's very engaging uh with the audience the other thing is if you've never done it and you've watched more than three of my videos it's time to subscribe so go ahead and hit subscribe hit the thumbs up if you like this and we will talk next week have a great one take care